Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. A big old shout out and welcome to those of you that are new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining the family. You're, you're so welcome here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for those of you that are returning, what is up, squad? So welcome to your readings for November 2019. A big shout out goes out to those Scorpios. Yeah, very happy birthday to the Scorpios. And also a very happy birthday to the November Sagittarians, yes? Can you guys believe that we are almost done with 2019? Like, this is a little bit crazy. We are getting into 2020 soon. That is super exciting. I hope you guys have had a really great year so far, but we're not quite there yet. So. These are your messages for the month of November. Please keep in mind that these readings are general. Yes, these messages are general. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information, including my email address and the readings that I offer, uh, their prices and a description of those readings are found in the description box below. Yes. For those of you that are new to my channel, what I will be doing in this monthly reading is what I call the freestyle or general freestyle reading. Yeah. If you would like to get a reading with me, I highly recommend that you start with that one as that is really quite a one size fits all type of reading. We could really get you some really awesome information, uh, very clarity into a look on what's going on, whatever question or situation you are interested in gaining greater clarity on. Yeah. Also, if you are new to the channel, please understand that number one, I am not a fortune teller. Okay. So what I'm doing here, what my goal is to give you guys is to get a look into the energy surrounding you right now and to give you guys a clearer understanding of what those energies are so that you can make a, a decision that is best for yourself moving forward in your life. Yes. Again, please keep in mind that these readings are general and I'm going to, for the most part, I'm going to be talking to the uh, sun sign or star sign. I should say star sign because it's not just your sun sign. This is sun, moon, rising and Venus, but I'm going to be talking to the sign that's in question, mostly looking at it from their point of view. So if you're a cross watcher, keep that in mind. But also if I'm speaking to this, and you're uh, speaking to this point from the point of view that you're the, the sign that you're looking at because it's the sign that is in your chart, but it's not resonating as you're the person that should be spoken to here. Maybe you're the person on the other side of the equation, then please take it as it resonates. Yes. Okay. Um, also keep in mind that just because these are monthly readings, like they're dated for the month of November, it doesn't mean it has to resonate for the month of November of 2019. All the readings on my, on my channel are meant to be timeless. Also keep in mind that this is general. All right. We're, so we're talking about anything that spirit wants to bring forward to you or wants to bring to your attention. This is not love career or, or, or sp specific like that in any sort of way. Although career may come up or career may resonate for you or love may come up and that may resonate for you too. Okay. But this is just an over open-ended overall look at the energies in your life. Yeah. I would absolutely love it if you guys would connect with me on social media. I am on Instagram at divine underscore conversations. And I do like to go live just about every once in a week to do a, uh, a collective check-in energy check-in for the Insta fam. So if you're not following me there, please, I highly recommend that you do so. Let's connect on social media. I'm also on Facebook, um, uh, facebook.com slash divine conversations. Now here's the thing about it. First of all, all, both of those links are in the description box below, but um, if you would like to get a reading with me, I highly recommend that you just email me or at the very least you can message me on Instagram. But even if you do that, I'll just be directing you to email. Uh, Facebook is not the best option to connect with me, to send a message to me or something like that, or even to try and book a reading mainly because it's not always reliable in notification, uh, as to when I get messages on Facebook. Um, and I don't always remember to check it all that frequently. So you run the risk of either completely me, completely missing your message or getting back to you at a really later, t really late time. So if you would like to, please, if you can go ahead and give me a like on Facebook and all that and connect with me there. But if you would like to get a reading from me, or if you would like to contact me in some way, email or at the very least, very least Instagram is your best way of doing that. Yes. Um, so for the readings for this month, I'm keeping with my normal and I'm using the golden universal tarot for our tarot spread and then keeping with the fall atmosphere, the fall feel, 
I'm going to be pulling Oracle Guidance from the Fairy Forest deck. I love this deck and it's so awesome. And it's been really, really spot on for this month. It was really spot on for last month as well. I'm really super excited for you guys to see these readings because I feel like overall they're really, really great messages, okay? So with that said, let's get to it. Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for November 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, let's get into your, your pre-shuffle energies here. Um, it's funny because I, I was getting the feeling that you guys are clammed up, clam have clammed up a little bit. You know, you've gone into your shell a little bit um, because as I was pulling the pre-shuffle energies, I, I had a bit of difficulty getting something to come out. And I, I found myself saying like, hey there, Cancer, come on, what's going on here with you, you know? But then very subtly, very, very subtly, and st it stayed quite hidden in within the deck. I had to search for it, but the Emperor popped out, or it flipped over, okay? Underneath the deck, at the bottom of the deck, is the Eight of Pentacles. So I really feel like, Cancer, you guys are in an energy of taking your power back, taking control over some sort of situation in your life, maybe as just your life as a whole, and working very diligently on something, but you're not ta you're not trying to talk about it. You don't want it to be known. You don't want it to be seen right now because you're you're very you're very you're keeping it to yourself. And there's a very good reason for that. I mean, you were probably not wanting anybody's energies to get in there and like try and excuse my language, but fuck up whatever you're trying to create here. Okay, so okay, hey, fine. I'm just gonna leave it right there, and we're gonna see what else we get for you, Cancer. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see for November 2019 for my Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into this, y'all. All right. Here we go, Cancer. <clears throat> Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please. Sorry guys, my window's open. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of November, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Cancer, I'm giving this five shuffles and then we'll see what we've got for you. But already I'm hearing Cancer has, Cancerians have closed, have clammed up quite a bit, at least the ones that I'm channeling for. And I was hearing as I was channeling that energy, this is shuffle number one, I was hearing that um, you're not even probably, if you're, if you have like a significant other or something like a, a, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatnot, whatnot, whatever, a romantic partner, you're probably not even speaking to them too much about what you're, what's going on with you or what it is you're trying to create. Uh, <laughs> whatever it is you are mastering of your domaining about. Does that make sense? <laughs> that's what I just heard. I thought that was funny, so I thought I'd share it. But that's what the emperor energy that came out. Yeah, okay, this is shuffle number two. But yeah, you're really clammed up about something. Taking full control, also taking full responsibility for something here, which may be why you're really not trying to let anybody in on it, right? For, for, for um, in, in, in terms of keeping other intrusive energies out of whatever it is you're trying to create, yeah? This is shuffle number three. And this really could be just working on yourself too. You never know. I mean, this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. Number four, from a Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of November, 2019. And this is five. All right, Cancer. Woo! Let's see what we've got here for you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut the deck. Boop. All right. Overall energy. You've got a the three of cups. This is the this is a union. What I just heard is this is a, this is body, mind, and spirit. This is you coming together. This is a sense of internal union. All your parts and pieces working together, working as a whole, working in tandem to create some sort of new reality for yourself. Beautiful. Underneath that, you've got the high priestess. There you go. There's that secrecy, Cancer. Okay, all right. Underneath the high priestess, you've got the world. Ah. And finally, well, shit. There's the emperor again. <laughs> Woo, all right. 
So you are really taking control of something. Um, and I do feel like you're working in tandem with the universe here, with unknown elements of the universe to the, to the universe here. Uh, but I also think you're just keeping very quiet. Again, secrecy is the name of the game with this high priestess energy here. And you're very, see, you're very aware of something closing out. You may even be the one that's actively closing this out for yourself here with this world energy, okay? It also could be a byproduct, whatever this change, this closing of a cycle, whatnot, whatever, the, could be a byproduct of this um, union of body, mind, and spirit here, this sense of self-mastery that you may have come into. Mm -hmm. this this body this union of body mind and spirit here regardless of the circumstances regardless of what sort of uh, physical action you may be taking because i do feel like you are taking action somehow in the physical with this emperor energy but um this union of body mind and spirit number one is a celebration as a congratulations from the universe for achieving this but also is directly affecting or directly influencing or facilitating opening the pathway opening the lines of communication opening the air for you to make some sort of change close out some sort of cycle move in some sort of new direction all right cancer this is excellent okay let's move on Getting into the first half, second half of your reading, first half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies. You also could look at this as the first half, second half of your month. Take it as it resonates. First half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies you have. Okay, there's the nine of swords. But this is that fear and, the, and that anxiety that something might be coming through and trying to sabotage you. Again, this is illusionary cancer, all right? But it also is a self-fulfilling prophecy. You have got to get you have got to get out of this energy cancer because the more you think about it, even the I just heard the more you prepare for it. Ooh. The more you think about it or the more you prepare for it cancer, the greater the chances that you will manifest that in your life. So if this is not something that you want to happen in your life, if it's not something that you want to manifest, stop focusing on it. Okay? Nine of Swords is coupled with the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, this is also some sort of fear of things not working out for you, but at the same time, you gotta take this slow and steady. I know, Cancer, you do like to move quickly when you get in when you get involved or when you get inspired towards something, but to be quite honest, you have got to take this slowly, step by step. Now, the other thing about this that I am picking up for you, Cancer, is that the 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 slow progress here and whatever this is for you is agonizing is only helping you to slip into these doomsday type energies these these fears of worst case scenarios it might be that things are moving so slow um, and that's causing you to question whether actually anything is going to happen or this is actually going to come through, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. You could be dealing with a counterpart, okay? That emperor energy could be representing the masculine for you. And um, things are coming together. A union is about to happen, but there's secrecy involved. You don't know when, why, how, or if it's even actually going to happen. But I do feel like the, something is coming forward. Something is changing, something is taking form, something is taking shape, something is slowly but surely manifesting, but it's the slow nature of this that is causing you grief or anxiety. Okay, you gotta let go of that. Because that's not helping you, Cancer. I mean, so, okay, so what? So, so, so you're picking up on things are moving slowly and now you're getting all tense and agitated. That's not helping you. It's not helping you at all. It's only making this situation more difficult, more tiresome for you. Let that go, okay? Second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Cancer, you have, oh, ooh, the three of swords. What? Why? Past energy. Three of swords is coupled with the eight of wands, okay. Okay, yes, the three of swords is past energy. There, um, so you're moving away you're moving away from some sort of swift, from, for some sort of uh, heartbreaking energy. Um, 
I feel like the air is clear and open for you to move away from this. Also, the air is clear and open to, for you to do some sort of healing involved with this Three of Swords energy, with this heartbreak type energy. There also could be some sort of communication that could come in terms of heartbreak from the past that could help heal or ameliorate a situation. But also, I feel like this is, especially since, yes, we're talking about your surra current surrounding energies in this first half of your reading here, I do feel like this is confirmation that you are going to be able to move. Th th there, is, there are no obstacles in the way of you healing from this heartbreak or he moving forward from this heartbreak or whatever this Three of Swords represents for you, okay? Obviously, you might be moving slowly but surely, and to be quite honest, that is ideal here, Cancer. You can't rush away from this. The more you rush away from this, the faster you move away from this, the more chances that you will make a mistake okay and in this healing process you don't want to make a mistake because you don't want to have to get x amount of x amount of distance down the road only to realize that you got to double back because something wasn't handled correctly that is what this knight of pentacles energy is saying to you and i also feel like some of you are in this nine of swords with this knight of pentacles because the knight of pentacles is saying to you whoa we have got to slow down. We have got to handle this piece by piece, case by case. And you're here, Cancer, like, oh my God, I don't want to deal with this anymore. But Cancer, you have to. If you wish to put this to rest, to close out this cycle, Cancer, you are going to have to deal with every little bit and piece of this situation just to make sure that it doesn't re-manifest in your life in the future. Do you understand? You have the clear and open space in order to do this. Take advantage of this moment and do all of the work that you need to do, Cancer. Remember, with the pre-shuffle energy, the overall energy, the, 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 the energy at the bottom of the deck was the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is mundane work, okay? Is that, is that day by day, you know, piece by piece, crafting all of those same things over and over again. It talks about hard, mundane work. That is what this involves. If you really want to be clear of whatever it is, whatever heartbreaking energy you're moving away from, you have got to do the work. You have got to face every single situation and you've got to clear it. All right? Okay. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Cancer, you've got... To your own energy, the Queen of Cups. But you see here, Cancer, you have got to face your emotions. And we know you're a very emotional individual to begin with. All right, cool. There is nothing wrong with that, but you cannot hide from your emotions. Your challenge here is to face your emotions, heal, cleanse, and balance them. I just heard you're, a, you're an emotional wreck right now. Okay, you might, some of you may actually be an emotional wreck right now. And there, again, there is nothing wrong with that. But you have to act accordingly. Knight of Pentacles, you have got to act accordingly. Because the more you sweep this under the rug, Cancer, the worse it's going to get. And also, like, forget, the, forget about the worse it's going to get. The longer you're going to have to deal with it, right? <laughs> okay. The Queen of Cups is coupled with... I, good golly, Cancer, look at that. The Eight of Pentacles. You have got to face this. You got to. You got to do the work involved with healing your emotions or just bringing them into balance. Okay? Mm. I surprise. I really, I, I really surprise myself sometimes. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Cancer, you have... Oh! The devil! Mm-hmm. Capricorn energy, potentially, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. I feel like someone is dealing with a Capricorn here. But however, the devil is representing facing your fears. Facing the elephant in the room. Facing your elements of codependency facing whatever attachments you may have that are holding you down, confining you. The devil is coupled with, yes, looky there, four of pentacles. There are some things that you have got to let go of, Cancer. 
Capricorn energy. It's interesting because actually Capricorn is your, um, your opposite in the Zodiac. So for some of you, you might have Capricorn in your chart. You might be dealing with a Capricorn in your life. Um, a transit through Capricorn, some sort of planet transiting through Capricorn may be significant to you, may be relevant to you. Uh, whatever house Capricorn is for you. Um, let's see, if Cancer is your rising or moon sign, because that's normally where these charts are um, the most significant. You want to look at your rising chart or your moon sign chart. So this would be if Cancer is your rising or your moon sign. Capricorn would be in the sixth house, right? I believe so. So that might be re relevant to you. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. Look that up for yourself. But because I, I am, for some reason, I'm getting a strong Capricorn energy for somebody here. But there is something that you have got to let go of, Cancer, and it's been plaguing you. This is toxic. It's become, I'm feeling like it's become toxic. It may, it may have always been toxic, but it may have been, it may have really gotten like really bad <laughs> at this point. Like to the point where you can't deny it anymore. You have got to release this. You have got to let something go. And it might be cancer that you may have been har harboring some sort of pain, some sort of heartbreak. Oh, yeah, I understand that. Oof. Okay, see, because that's right. Because cancer in, in Eastern astrology, cancer is my moon sign. And let me tell you, I know how to harbor some shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? I really know how to, how to latch on to something and not let go. Ever. And that's something I really am, have been working on specifically. So, okay, I get it. I totally get it. All right, Cancer. Let's get into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies. You've got to. Ooh, look at that. There's the Empress. All right, so you've got the counterparts. You've got the Emperor in the overall energy. And now you have the Empress here. All right. The Empress is definitely giving me an energy of forgiveness and abundance. All right. The Empress can be a very enabling individual, but that's because she's so unconditionally loving and she just wants her children or her loved ones or her subjects. Because, again, she, just like the Emperor, is the master of her own domain as well. She is the queen of queens, whereas the Emperor is the king of kings. She just wants her subjects, her family, her children, her loved ones. She wants them to be happy. She wants them to flourish. She wants them to 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 to. Um, enjoy and uh, and and fully experience the abundance that life has to offer okay so in in negative circumstances yes she can be very enabling okay but also in positive circumstances she represents unconditional love and abundance and acceptance right i am feel, I, I am getting a vibe of forgiveness here from the empress yeah the empress is coupled with there you go the 10 of cups Cancer, in order for you to reach your Ten of Cups, you have got to stop harbor. You have got to stop harboring the past. Okay, any sort of past hurts, some past circumstances, whatnot, whatever. You have got to let them go. And I feel like some of you are not are refusing to let these things go because you're like, rah, I don't want this person coming back into my life. Raw, raw, raw. And then it's like, okay, well, look, I get that, I get that, but also understand that keeping yourself in this energy. Sorry, guys. Yeah, this is an emergency situation. Okay, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let the siren go by. But yeah, you guys, this is an emergency situation, and you want to know why? Because the more you hold on to this, whatever you're harboring here, the more you hold on to it, the more you're going to reject anything new or better to be coming in. Now, it could very well be from the same person or the same meat suit right but hopefully it is a, a, a brand new energy a regenerated energy okay and if it's not you have the wherewithal to know okay I don't want this energy in my life anymore so let me play let me play devil's advocate here yes we have the devil here right let me play devil's advocate say your emperor your divine counterpart, whatnot, whatever, if we're talking about that, 
Let's say this individual does come back into your life and they're exhibiting the same energy that they were exhibiting before that created this Three of Swords energy here. Well, you being a wiser creature now, having come out of that situation, having been in an, ele in an energy of starting to heal yourself, you are now much more aware of the circumstances of that energy than you were before. Meaning, you have the ability to say, nope, I have closed the door on that. I don't want that energy in my life anymore. And that ultimately is a good thing. Why? Because you are proving to the universe that you are done. Okay, fine. I'll say that it came through this way, so I'll say it this way. You are done with that fuck boy energy. You are done with that fuck girl energy. You are done with that narcissistic manipulative energy. You are rejecting it. You're pushing it out of your life. No way. Nope. No. Nope. And there's no reason to even get all angry or spiteful or whatnot. It's literally just a, yeah, I see you for what you are and I'm done with that. No, thank you. Goodbye. Moving forward. Then you have proven to the universe that you have, in fact, come into this sense of union and you have, in fact, closed the door on that situation and you can move on and move forward in the abundance of the universe and attract your Ten of Cups. Now you have the space to allow your Ten of Cups to come through. Let's play the other side of the scenario. Your divine counterpart, this person comes back into your life and they've changed. They've matured. They are now, they are now in an energy to match you. You're in that Empress energy. They are in that Emperor energy. You're balanced, you're whole, you're equal parts of the same of the same whole, right? Well, in that case, hello, you got your Ten of Cups. But in order for that to happen, you have got to let go of the pain of the past. Because you are actively blocking energies that would match you from coming in the more you hold on to the pain of the past. Yes? Good God, my nose is itching like a muff. All right, cool. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Cancer. You have, oh, wait. Oh, my God. There's the tower. Whoa. I told. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading, you have the Ace of Pentacles. There you go. There you go. There's the offer coming through. There's the new start. There's the, 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 the invitation. There's the, the, the commitment. I don't know. There it is right there. The new start could be a new career path. It could be an actual new offer of commitment here. Ace of Pentacles is coupled with. But you have to look, look, before I go any further, Cancer, you have to allow the end of the, the cycle from the past to close out. I totally just saw 22, 22 on the counter. We could be talking about a romantic relationship. You, but you have to let the past close out before this Ace of Pentacles can even make its way to you. Okay, Cancer? Ace of Pentacles is coupled with the Seven of Pentacles. Learn from the contrast. All right. There's no need to be angry. There's no need to be spiteful. Whatever happened in the past was necessary. Why? It helped you understand what it is you do and don't want. Learn from the contrast. That's great. That's all it needs to be, Cancer. It doesn't have to be anything else. You are stressing yourself out. You are making things way harder on yourself by making it into something bigger than it has to be. It was a lesson. It was a moment for you to help iron out what it is you don't want in your life. Leave it at that. It doesn't have to be any more than that, okay? All right. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Cancer, you have? Well, yeah, this is a challenge. Temperance, balance, patience. I'm hearing understanding as well. Especially the feminines out there that really burn, really a masculine energy in order for you to integrate with a masculine with your masculine counterpart and this is both external internally and externally well i wanted i was saying it correctly the first time this is both externally and internally but in order for you to integrate and balance out with masculine energy you have got to understand where the masculine is coming from you have got to try to understand what the masculine has been going through you have got to try and see things from the masculine perspective Let that marinate for a moment because I do feel like some of you are having a big old ego fit with that. 
but it's true. You are two parts of the same whole. You are not meant to exist. The feminine is not meant to exist without the masculine. The masculine is not meant to exist without the feminine. You both have to try to see things from the other point of view. Both of you. But yes, that is a challenge. Temperance is coupled with the Ace of Wands. And what I'm getting with the Ace of Wands is once you are able to really balance out and in work on integrating your masculine side for those who are more femininely dominant and your feminine side for those who are, who are more masculinely dominant, once you're able to integrate these parts of yourself, you'll be enabled to, to, you'll be able to move in a brand new direction. Inspired towards moving forward with your journey together as counterparts, yes? I'm really feeling like this Ace of Wands is representing the ep almost an epiphany, but it's coming, which would be more representative, more, which would be more symbolized by the Ace of Swords. However, it's coming through as the Ace of Wands because it's, 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 it's passion to move forward, um, inspired, feeling inspired, feeling excited to move forward together as uh, as two parts of the same whole as counterparts coming together and this definitely um happens internally first okay before it can even before it can manifest in the external why because your internal reality is a direct reflection of your external reality yes okay closing message or potential outcome cancer in the second half of your reading here you have well now look at that the king of swords diplomacy so this is actually feeling like this is saying to me that cancer, you have got to get out of the queen of swords energy. I've got to maybe work on being more diplomatic, get into that king of swords energy. I'm sorry. I just realized that there is some sort of truck rumbling outside. I want to close my window because I feel like it's a bit distracting. Okay. But you've got to settle into this King of Swords energy, Cancer. you got to be a little more diplomatic, a little more understanding. The, see, the King of Swords is the judge, okay? This is the individual that works to see everything from every different point of view before he makes his decision. To see and hear all pieces of evidence before he makes his decision, even though he may already have an idea of what he wants, what direction he wants to go in, okay? That is key here. King of Swords energy, that is key here. King of Swords is coupled with, I feel like it's the world, not the world, I'm sorry, it's the Wheel of Fortune. And I only say that because I recognize this little, yeah, this little thing here on this card and I feel like it's the Wheel of Fortune. We'll see, it is coupled with, boop, the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> that wasn't my intuition. This, this card has a little bit of a, you can't really see it. You see that little white spot there? Um, it just got damaged a little bit, and I recognize it for that card. So anyway, the Wheel of Fortune. Um, and actually, Cancer, what I'm getting with this is you need to be as diplomatic as possible because this is destiny, all right? So again, you have got to see things from as many different points of view as you can. And I heard stop, harbor, stop harping on the past again. Because I, I, I do want to say, Cancer, you do have responsibility in this also. It's not all, especially if we're talking to a feminine here, it is not all the masculine's fault. And even from the masculine point of view, he has, he or she has external circumstances that they also have to deal with. Again, you have got to see this from the masculine point of view. The masculine has to try to see this from the feminine point of view in order for the two parts to integrate. All righty. All right, Cancer, let's get close out your reading with your oracle. Yes, here we go. From the Council of the November 2019. Oh, my nose. I must be channeling hard because my, uh, my nose is itchy, y'all. And it's like the very tip. Right tip of my nose, like right there, there, tip of my nose that's got this like tingly, itchy going on here. 
Okay, here we go. It's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's channeling. It's a, it's a, a symptom of channeling. Many people who channel feel that. Okay, here we go. From my cancers, closing message here or guidance for the month of November 2019. For the month of November 2019, for my Cancerians, Sun, Moon, right there it is. All right, card number 28, the Dreamer, visions, trance, apparitions. 28 boils down to a 10, which is a completion, guys. You have pure magic flowing through you in the form of visions, dreams, and trance-like moments. You are visually psychic, and all the world is full of messages being relayed to you both through the medium of sight, physical sight and through the eyes of spirit. You may even find you are able to enter trance extremely easily. You're adept at reading patterns within nature. You can scry without meaning to, and you look into every face knowing the story it is silently sharing. One glance gives you information about the person or place you are with, it, you are with or within, and your skill is an ancient one, re uh, revered throughout the ages. You may find yourself gazing intently at other people's faces and picking up information, being able to read expressions, seeing shapes and patterns and fate within the forms tea leaves take at the bottom of the cup, reading signs in clouds, or simply knowing, that, uh, knowing what will happen before you open your physical eyes because you can see what is to happen next. Your eyes at this time are immensely important. So on a mundane level, please be sure to have an eye check and look after your vision. Visually, you are very sensitive, so it may be time to change your environment, your appearance, or, your, or the appearance of where you spend much of your time so that it better offers you the energy with which you wish to go forward. Trust in your visions. They come from a magical place, and when you become able to read and understand them, you will be the dreamer indeed. Your vision is coming to reality. Keep going. Your dream will become manifest in your life and very soon. And I feel like that is, has everything to do with a counterpart situation. If you are dealing with a counterpart situation, very, very resistant to it. But your dreams and your visions are leading you somewhere important, somewhere that is destined to be, someone that, somewhere that you are meant to be. So diplomacy is key, Cancer, okay? All right, so there you have it. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like to look into your own situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of December, yeah? Take care, Mwah! bye.